the night we are Erev Rosh Hashanah, and um, we can see we have the the tzirim of the of the Geula. The world is shaking. Mitzafa in Tavoy Hara, and Mamish, the words of the Navi are coming to light. And we have a parsha before us that Moshe Rabbeinu tells us, "Binu shnois doir vador." Look in this. The Maral was very makpi to learn the 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 the, the parsha of Azinu Mamish be'alpe that. Every door and door is included in this shira. You would find the solution to everything. All the questions are in that shira. If it that's so, I would like to bring you to the psukim and ask a few questions. I'm taking from end of Vayelech. There's always a connection between the two parashas. A parasha is never, you know, never by uh, luck. But uh, since it's not in chronological order, so obviously there's a reason the Torah put it there. And now write this song, this shira, the lambda as Bnei Yisrael, Teach it to the Bnei Yisrael. Sima befihem. Put it in their mouth, meaning teach them until they know it by heart. Lemanti yeli ashira azoi. So this shira should be to me the aid the Bnei Yisrael. The aid to the Bnei, on the Bnei Yisrael. I'm not going to ask questions. Vaichtav Moshe. Moshe wrote as Ashira Azois, that Shira by Yoimahu on that day by Lambda, and he taught it as Bene Israel to the Bene Israel. That we make no mistake, Abul Rashi, Rashi says that the Shira Hazois is Hazinu Ashamayim. Okay, this is the Shira. I, I have to ask a question. It's a pity I didn't bring the, the passage before that repeats again Hashira Hazoyis. Non stop. Here we have one time. Fine. Velamda, teach it. So we see, we, it didn't say Velame de Hashira Hazoyis again. Included it in here. But then the man Tihili, she will be. So already we have the Shira here. So why do you repeat Hashira Hazoris? And you're going to go a third time. Because we know what we're talking, what the subject here. The Midrash says the Malachim already were coming to Moshe Rabbeinu and shaking him. Moshe, it's time to leave this world. It's time to leave this world. And Moshe Rabbeinu says... There's something much more important that I've done in my whole life. I'm going to do now. Okay. By Lambda as Bnei Israel. He taught it to the Bnei Israel. Didn't he forget something, Mr. Rabbeinu, here? HaKadosh Baruch Hu told him two things. To write it, to teach, three things. To write it, to teach it, and to, 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 to make sure that the Bnei Israel know it by heart. Moshe Rabbeinu wrote it. Moshe Rabbeinu taught it. But he didn't say here, by Yisima Befihem. Why didn't he do that? Oh, that Shira, Hashem says, is an aid. Why you aid? Hazinu HaShamayim Vada Beira. Who are the Eidim HaShamayim? Vesishma HaAretz Imrefi. And the second aid is the arts. If Nesra Mekaimim the Torah, then you will stand, you will exist. If Nesra is not Mekaim the Torah, then you will cease to, to exist. 
So now what do we need a third aid here for? What does the shira have to do? I mean, the shira itself, it starts with the edus. I want to understand something. When you say a shira, when you, you say zmiras on Shabbos on your table, you're happy, you have wine, you have what you like to drink if it's not wine, you have meat, you have chong, you have, I don't know, you feel exhilarated. So you sing it. That's an expression of simcha. Have you read how Zeno? It's worse than Megillus Echa. Would you call Echa you uh, 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 a Megillah? Uh, sorry, uh, a Shira? No, Echa is definitely not a Shira. So why is Azino a Shira? How can he be a Shira? And not only a shira, it's a shira that you have to teach the Bnei Israel and know it by heart. What is that? Are we masochists now? Or masochists, I don't know how you call it, but uh, we like punishments. It talks only about punishments. But what punishments? Terrible. Should I remind what the, 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 the Midrash says about the, the, the Gaulus from Yerushalayim? Had they died, the Gdusha Elion, had they died, had the blood was spilled by, by, by uh, the Bob, by, by, by uh, the armies of Nebuchadnezzar, the riches. If we think Nazi were Rishayim, you need to learn the Midrash of uh, 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 on, on Nebuchadnezzar. The Levim. When he saw the Levim, Nebuchadnezzar, and he saw the, the, the harps and the violins and everything, he told them, play. They, they all together, within an instant, nobody talked to nobody. They put their the thumb in their mouth and they cut it off. Now I said, we can't play. He killed them. When he kept... I don't even think I can say it. The level of Gdoshim, the way Nami throw it, it's mind boggling. And what they suffered in the body, the way Reb Shimshan in Ostropoli, Kaldish Elion, the way he was killed, Ambalid, the Belchon and Basam, also so many Gdoshim. This who should be with us, this Rosh Hashanah, that it should be the last one that's... Uh, I'm going to give you a little thing on what I'm going to say tomorrow night, because uh, for that, uh, you know, you have to go, how to go into Rosh Hashanah. It's very similar to, in, to, the, to what's going on in Pasha Salzim. It's mamish power. The Gemara says... Omer Rabbi Yehinosan, more in in Brachos Lamed Hey. Minayin sheinoim rim shira elo alayayin. How do we know that we 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 can't say a shira? You can't because it's not a real shira. Don't bother Hakadosh Baruch to listen to you if it's not meaningful from your inside. Can only be when you have wine, <clears throat> because. He brings a pasuk in safety that the, 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 the wine is mesameach. So he says, im, and Ashim Dugmar says, im, see if the people are, are happy. So you have to, to join HaKadosh Baruch in your happiness. So how do you make him happy? The Shira. And that's how we learn that Shira is only said on Yain and only Mitech Simch. When Bnei Yisrael are listening about what's going to happen to the Doris, the, 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 the great-grandchildren, and after that, they were probably shaking. 
remember, the mem of Moshe Rabbeinu, we said, I don't remember when I said that, it's on the Shabbos or last week, Moshe is mem se, se pezura Yisrael, the scattered lamps is B'nai Yisrael. That's how the Apostle called them. Why? Rashi explains, because lions after them. So they don't remain in the flock. They, they're broken apart. So in, in other words, when you see B'nai Yisrael going into different groups, it's not because they want to be separated. It's because they're pursued, pursued by lions. Se Pezura, we said on Shabbos, equals 603, equals B'nai Yisrael. How does Moshe protect them, protected them? With the Mem of Moshe. Se, Moshe is Mem and Se. So the Mem, they were supposed to die after the eagle, every person tw that was 20 years old. Moshe Rabbeinu was 80 years old at that time. So he protect, protected them for 40 years. The 40 years expire when Moshe will be Nifta. You know how many of the Bnei Yisrael, of that Doer, the Kedoshim were supposed to go that day. What the Zohar writes about them, what the Pirkei de Rabbi Eliezer writes about them. Amazing. They're not even in Olam Haba Elyoin. They're not even in the, the upper Olam Haba. They're beyond. They're beyond. And the only worry is Moshe Rabbeinu. Now, we both going to cross that path of life to the, to the, to the real life. Are we going to be together? And Moshe Rabbeinu promised them the same way they were with him in this life, they're going to be with him in the other life, and they're going to be with him in Tchir Samengsi. And he is the one who's going to bring them to Eretz Yisrael to finish his mission. Just open the parentheses here, okay? It's not part of the show. But I said that last Shabbos, and I remember. You tell them about their generations, they're about to leave this world. The Kedushim, they understand the value of Moshe Rabbeinu. And you tell them that children are going to be such, so bad, so bad. I mean, what do you leave them in their heart? What kind of simcha they have? They have no simcha. You want to call them, you, you want to call me this a shira? You don't say it with simcha. It's only about beating the Bnei Yisrael. I, you know what? I'm just going to show you a few psukim of the shira. You will understand for yourself that we, we, we're talking about Eicha. We're not talking about... I'm sorry. We're not talking about... Um, shira. They started Panay Mayhem. And there's going to be Hester Panim. HaKadosh Buchu will hide from them. Vehaya Le'echoi. And there will be food for other nations. Um tsa'uhu, ra'ois, rabois, vetsaros. And they will be met. They're only going to have tremendous hardship and, and, and bad things happening to them and a lot of tsaros. Do you think it is? That's it? No, tupso kim later. Ve'anoichi, aster, aster, ponai, bayoima. I will hide from them. Pasuk later, Vayoymer, Astira Panay Mayhem. I will hide from them. I will hide my face, meaning there's going to be no oil. There's going to be no bracha. There's going to be no shefa. Some people think that's what happened on Rosh Hashanah. No. What's the soil? Once you're going to understand the soil of this Shira, you will understand how to go into Rosh Hashanah. There's a tremendous, tremendous, uh, there's two huge soils here. Today I'm going to unleash. Whether it's your level, not your level, whatever, you're going to hear it. If you don't understand, your Neshama will understand. 
But toward the end of the of the Shira, it says the Pasuk Moshe Rabbeinu that the Bnei Israel are gonna say, you know why? Because I, Hashem is not among us. We don't have Hashem in our lives. That's why we are met with so many sorrows, with so many hardships, with so many enemies, and we cannot overcome our enemies. We always get bitten by our enemies. And that's the reason, one second, I'm scratching my head. These people went up track, to the left, absolutely walk, absolutely of Torah and everything, and they invented themselves a new religion. What would make them think? Because they have Tsaris, that it's the lack of Akadosh Baruch In contrary, they already broke every possible limit. What would make them always think, the Bnei Yisrael, that Meaning you have something inside, you're a Jew, you're a Jew forever. Whenever you're going to see the stick, you're going to know right away, this is Hashem calling me. Wow, you're a tzaddik. How do you come to such a conclusion so fast? What makes you come? There's nothing in the Torah, you know, we're not explaining here. Even psychologically, it's not explainable. So there's nothing in the Torah that comes and tells us, uh, oh no, we're going to think, Everything has emotion. It's like a machine, Some, a galgal. Something makes something else works and tells us what's the outcome. What's in the Bnei Yisrael that the Tsaris and the Royce, they will right away understand they're responsible for them. And if they want to stop them, it's within their reach. Amazing. Let me show you. I'm going to go very quick on this because I don't want to spend time on a, um, on, on a side Indian. But if we want to have um, just a little bit understanding about Hester Pani, There is a Gemara in Sanhedrin in Tzadik Vava Mudalef recounting when Amoinu Moyov were, were hearing Yermiya prophetizing about the Chorban Besamikdash. So right away, after hearing it a few times, they went to Nebuchadnezzar. They say, it's your time to go up on Yerushalayim and conquer it. Why? I mean, have they done something to you, the Jews? No. They haven't done nothing to him. It's hatred. What's hatred? Hatred is the other side feels that it can overcome our side. The side of Tuma wants to overcome the Gdusha. And we are a liability right in the center. We're in the, in the center. Two mountains want to fight each other. And Venezuela in the valley, right in between these two mountains. That's where we at all the time. We're casualty all the times. Because we are the one who define the strength of these two mountains. And if we don't give, give the strength to the right mountain, automatically the other one will come and crush. So Nebuchadnezzar says, no, 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 no. I'm not coming. You guys don't know. I mean, they have a God that's extremely powerful. Okay? But it's not enough for him to, 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 to serve HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Nah. They know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is. They cannot. They have a thing. It's the tumor they have in them. Don't let them close to the Gdusha. He says, no, but the Nabi said, and, and, and they have left the HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He told them, this God, when he goes away from them, he doesn't go too far. As soon as they call him, he runs back. So I said, I'm not tempting, uh, you know, their God, and they're going to call upon him. And I said, he says, I remember when I was the general of the armies 
of uh, Sancheri. We went on Jerusalem and we sieged it. We came with a million people. And the long version of this is in Midrash Esther Rabbah. It's Zion. Zion. I don't remember the thing, but it's on, on a Perek Zion. It's pages over pages. Ahasuerus recounted himself that story. So, um, and um, Yoyakim came. He was Erev Pesach when we arrived there. And uh, he came. He went on the mountain of Yerushalayim. He looked over from the mountain. We were in the valley right before Yerushalayim. And they went back to the Besam Mikdash, did the Kavim Pesach, you know, normally and everything. And I don't know what happened. Their God came out in war against us. We were five left. Me, Nebu Zaldan, also another general. By the way, at the end, he's going to become Jewish. Um, Samcheriv and his two children. So Samcheriv made the Shavua that uh, if HaKadosh Baruch Hu, if his God, I forgot what the name of his God, saves him, he's the, the Moirech. He'll take his two sons that were obviously uh, commanders in the army, he will sacrifice them. They heard that, they killed him. And then they died also. So basically, who came back to Babel from a million people? Two people. Um, Nebuchadnezzar and Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar got the Tsaras. He went back to Hermia. And we know the story, but I'm not here to, to say uh, all the stories of uh, Am Yisrael at that point. So we, we see that Kodesh Bochu is not... Um, Shlema Melech says in Tehillim, and it's brought down in Zoya, in the Midrash Rus, Zoya Rus, the Chadash Rus, um, Mashgiach mina chaloinois, there's chaloinois on the hecholos on top. And Akadosh Bohu, even though he removed himself from the Bnei Israel, but he still looks through the windows over his children. Meitzitz mina charakim, he looks between the cracks. You know, when, when you have um, their roofs that used to be um, beams next to beams, there's cracks, these little cracks. And he used to look at the Bnei Israel through the cracks. HaKadosh Baruch Hu never leaves his place. We lost his presence, but he doesn't lose us. Wanted to show you something. Because now we're going to start building what is the relationship between HaKadosh Baruch Hu and the Bnei Israel. Did I bring this person? Oh, no. Nachem, what's the name? What's that? Bnei Yisrael. 603. What is 603? Bnei Yisrael. Very good. What muzzle is it? What? I'm writing oh. it. Noitzer Chesed Lo Alafim. Creating a Chesed. We don't have a Chesed. We don't have Schusim. We don't have. We in, in generation that that uh, it's very hard to, to have more Schusim than 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 Chadvesham Avoynis. As long as we are with Bnei Israel, a Bnei Israel Noitzer Chesed Lo Alafim. Akadosh Baruch will take care. The only way HaKadosh Baruch Hu removes himself from the Nebnei Yisrael, it says in Pashas Kiseitze, Vehaya Machanecha Kodesh. 
HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a damned about the Kedusha. Because he's Kadosh, this Kadosh Tem, he Kadosh Ani. HaKadosh Baruch Hu cannot come into a... The same thing we learned, a Bracha cannot come if there's no vessel. Yeah, he, HaKadosh Baruch always sends Bracha, but you have no vessel, you have no Kli in order to put the Bracha in there. So it's not going to work. So what makes HaKadosh Baruch Hu leave the Bnei Israel? Ervas Dov. What's this Ervas Dov? I'd like to know what makes HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kazvishan leave the Machane of the the Bnei Israel. This equals to 882. This equals to Sinas Chinam. Should have put before. Um, so. Ha Chet Sinas The Chet of Sinas that's the worst thing that, you know, Kadosh Baruch Hu can take everything else. But he didn't say erva. He didn't say ervas davar. It's almost that the erva is in the Dibu rubber first. When Bnei Israel starts saying Lashon Hara, when Bnei Israel starts saying the Bimaiti Shema, use their mouth in order to destroy someone else. At that point, it's considered the Chet of Sinistri. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu Veshav Macharecha in singular. Because the Machne of every Ben Israel is on Oilam, a Ben Israel, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu removes himself from him. He's, that's how he falls in the hands of the Eshel Zenunim. And that's the Erbas Dover that we see in the past. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, wow! That's what the Shira is about. When Akadush Bohu, the Midrash says, when we say the Apostle, they are noichi, so the Gemara in Chulin says, Esther min ha Torah minayin. Where is Esther from the Torah? How do we know Esther? Where is, it hint, where is she hinted in the Torah? He brings the Apostle the Gemara, Vanoichi has there, has there, Ponai, Bayoima. Has there, Esther, you, you seem to say, okay, Chazal, they try to find uh, uh, what we call a Chsidish of all. They, 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 they don't understand. What's has there, has there? What's it's this hiding into a hiding? And Chazal tells me this is Esther. What's the connection between the Apostle Chazal, what they say, it's, everything is Seamus? What's the connection between that Apostle and Esther? Look what Akadosh Baruch Hu says Esther. Are we going to just write it in Nadi so I can write it in full easier? Aleph, Samech, Tot, Rish. I'm only going to calculate the letters that are hiding because Esther is already the Haster Pani because she was not revealed much. Uh, um, Mordechai didn't want to say, it says in the Midrash, we have a sister in the past. So now we can do what we want and we can behave the way we want. That's why he didn't want to reveal that the, the Malka was Esther. So he was already starting a Hester. 
But there's a second Hester. If you take the Milui of Esther here, equals 496. Equals Malchus. And the Pasuk says, Vatilbash before, right by the Geula, Vatilbash Esther Malchus. Esther did the opposite. The Esther was inside and she, she, and, and the Malchus went outside. It didn't say Vatilbash Esther and Esther wore big day Malchus, clothed of uh, royalty cloth. No, it says Vatilbash Esther Malchus, the Malchus. Where from? From inside the word Esther. These two words equals, sorry, these two equals this. So we see on one hand, it may be hidden, but it's right there. As long as we behave as Bnei Yisrael, we have the Neitzah Chesed La'alafim. And even if HaKadosh Baruch Hu, because there's too much sin chinim, is not here, meets it min acharachim. No bad will happen. But we have a situation in the Shira that we pass that point. Why? Did I bring it here? Um, the Istati Ponai Mayhem, so that's Hester Pony, the Hayole Echot Umitsa Uhu Rois Rabois Vetsaros. So they're not safe. They are. They are being punished. Even in the Royce, a Ben Israel sees the hand of Akadosh. We cannot. That's how we know the Omar Bayaimahu, and he will say in that day, Haloi, behold, Alki and Eloi Kai Bekir, because my God is not within me inside. Metsauni Harois Haele. These Royce found me. Now, if I wanted to play with the words, this time he doesn't say Royce, he says how Royce. You turn the letters, you have Teruah, which is the name of Rosh Hashanah. There's no name of Rosh Hashanah in the Torah. We never call Rosh Hashanah. It's not called anything else by Yom, Ter Yom Teruah. And Ves Hashem and Rosh Hashanah I'll explain uh, the side of the Teruah. I'll give you a little bit. Teruah is mevatel the Royce. And every time we come and Bnei Israel have Royce, they have to know. And they know it's Hashem stamped his name in it. Royce cannot happen to a Bnei Israel because he is on the Neitzah Chesed but when he detaches himself from Neitzel Chesel La'alafim and his poigem in Kucha Berichu and Shchinte, Roy stop. Are you mevatel the Royce with the true? What is the true doing? Change the word Royce. That's all you need to do. Hi, it's done. Come spend Rosh Hashanah with us. You will know everything. Exactly how the true is done. But here I'm going to show you what Moshe Rabbeinu is making the world forever for the Bnei Israel. Moshe Rabbeinu himself, he was very scared. When he went up, told you that vault already, when he he was supposed to go up, HaKadosh called him, the Malchus, called him to go upon 
the the um, the mountain to receive the Torah, Moshe Rabbeinu looked up. What did he see? He saw three clippers. Pasha divine. Kreshech, Anon, Arafel, like the breeze. Three olives. And he said, maybe when I'm going to go through, now I'm Moshe the Tzaddik that can receive the Torah, but I may be affected by these clippers and I won't be able to enter inside the, 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 the light of the Malchus. So I'd rather stay down here. And that's why he says in the Pasuk, O Moshe Nigash. This, I'm going to give it to you on the thing, even though it takes time every time I do that. But this is huge for your Rosh Hashanah too. And please take it from me. It says, O Moshe Nigash El Ho'arofel. I'm not going to start that road with you, but I'm going to finish it here. I'm going to give it for them to Rosh Hashanah. Nigash equals 353. Equals Michael Gabriel. Midrash says just likely that Malachim came down in order to, to pick up Moshe Rabbeinu. It's all hinted in the Torah. Midrash doesn't say things out of uh, thin air. Nigash equals 353. Okay. Arafel, which is the last Ola, it's also a Klippa, equals 353. Arafel. Three eighty. Three eighty. Equals Shina. Moshe Rabbeinu was scared that he's gonna make a mistake when he's gonna get arrived to the last to the last Ola, which is like the the Ola the baby has on the breeze which is a very thin layer that's transparent that we have to do priya by hand. The, the, the moyal is cracking it. Moshe Rabin is, may thought, I may think it's the Shekhinah because the aura of the Gdusha is going through. I may think it's the Shekhinah, make a mistake. And that's what the Klippa tells you. Arafel equals Shekhinah. Moshe Rabinu was scared to do that. We're going on Rosh Hashanah. We have to go up to the Malchus and even higher. We're going to have to go up to the Bina. Okay? And we're going to have to go through the layers of our voinus, the, 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 the big clippers. How do we do it? Take the road of Simcha. It's another road where all the Shearim are open. The Zoya says, if you come like a Baal Tshuva, yes, you're broken because nishba and and you want to make Tshuva Takadosh Bochu, so you come to Rosh Hashanah with a broken feeling. Great. Then use the Shari Demaus. There's either Shari Simcha or Shari Demaus. There's nothing in between. So cry. Like Dariya Kodesh used to do when he used to do the, before the kiss, the video. Not the vidu is the thing because we're not allowed to say vidu in Rosh Hashanah. It's 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 a mikra kodesh. You can't bring atzvus before Hakadosh Baruch in the bina. You can't bring atzvus. So how do we do, 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 do? how do you do that? There's no such a thing. We have two paths in in order for our tefillah to go. Either full simcha, tik u shoifar bakese leyoyim chagein. It's a Yom Chag, our Chag. Because we know HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to give us Chaim. It's not if we're going to live or we're going to die. It's which type of Chaim we're going to receive the Xerah in Rosh Hashanah. We're all getting it from the Bina, which is Eloikim Chaim. Eloikim Chaim is the name of the Bina. 
because that's the true Chaim that comes down. It's a Chaim, there's no poverty. It's a Chaim that's full of Panasa. It's a Chaim that has the children in good health because anything that affects life is imperfect. And everything from the Bina is perfect. So that's the Chaim. So Chaim that we're going to live, we're going to live as Hashem. Don't worry about this. Those guys who think uh, um, the 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 Sifre Chaim Umeisim Psuchim Lefanecha is not the dead. It's those who's gonna who gonna have Chaim Slan Prime in Panasa, Prime with children, uh, Prime with health. These are considered dead. And uh, but we are going and reach. And the simcha, and 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 um, you cannot come before Hakadosh Baruch Hu be atzvus. You have to come be simcha. If do es Hashem be simcha, bo lefana biyana. Tiku b'chodesh shayifa b'kesel liyim chagayinu. If you want to have the kiss, and 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 um, I can't tell you so many soydes in these words. But uh, anyway. It's Yom Chagenu. Ki choik le Yisrael hu. Mishpat le lo yihe yakir. But if you want to go to the left and call it Yom Ha Mishpat, Yom Ha Din, you know, like, like this, is a lo yike yakir, which is a much lower level, because Yaakov is in the Tiferes on the bottom. But when he say le lo yakir, it's all the meters down. So you're not going into the Bina. You're going, and there, yes, there's a Dean there. So it, it, it all depends where you want to go. You have the choice. You're Ben Melech. You're a son of HaKadosh Bochu. HaKadosh Bochu wants to greet you, and you want to see. I'm going to show you how he wants to greet you. I thought it's going to be a shorter shear than usual, but I think it's um, wherever it has to go anywhere. I know it's at a young place. Now, we're going to start going a lot lower. A lot lower. There's a sentence. Moshe Rabbeinu says that Reb Shun Bar Yoshua is going to respond, is going to... Um, look at this passage. Zechoyer Yemois Oilom. In Azinu, you have from the beginning of the world, you can understand through that, through the Bina, if you look into it, the, the, the ev everything that happened in every door and door. What he told them, Simu Levavchem Lecholat Varim. The Machlik is in the Gemara. I don't know exactly what it is. Oh. It's going to be a huge chidus for what we learned yesterday, Menachem. Huge. And you're going to understand why I told you something now. There's a Machlik in the Gemara between the, the Tanaim if Torah will be forgotten from Bnei Israel or not. Maybe I'll come back to the first second before there's huge tradition here. Time is not friendly with me. And um, Tanaim says, Tishtakach Teira mi Yisrael, Teira will be forgotten. The Shun Ba'yoycha brings the Pasuk from this parasha, Ki loi si shokach mi pizaroi bezavtocha, that Teira will not be forgotten from the Bnei Yisrael. If there's a machlek is here, there's something we need to understand. If we, they're not talking about a fact because the fact will reveal itself. And Tanaim could see from one, from the beginning of the world, of the creation till the end. So what are they talking about? He says, this is...
this is a condition, it was created with the Torah of the world, then the Torah cannot be forgotten from this world. These letters that the, the, are in the Torah can be forgotten. The, the Torah itself cannot be forgotten. Bereshis, that's the proof that Shin Ba Yochai brings. Bereshis bara Eloiki. Moshe Rabbeinu has a problem. And he says, you know what? It says in the Pasuk that if Bnei Yisrael and Namekayim, the Torah, Fukoi Shamayim Ba'aretz lo Yisam, then, then Shamayim Ba'aretz, it's a different, so you have the world, the creation, whatever you want to mean, I cannot go into this right now. It will be too long. But you have the creation, and part of the creation is Shamayim Ba'aretz. Heaven and Kuchabarechu, which is Shamayim el Machus Eretz el the mind of skies we have here, are it's where we live. They cannot, they cannot live. Moshe Rabbeinu they bring that passage to show you. That's going to prove you how accurate everything we're saying is here. Let me let me copy. Okay, I'm back. So here is the possible. Im loy berisi yoyman balayla. Sorry, im loy berisi. If it was not for my bris, remember that word. Okay, the bris of the Torah with the Bnei Israel. Remember that word. Yoyman balayla chukay shamayim ba'aretz loy sampi. They depend, the, the, the Shamayim Ba'aretz depend on the Kiyum of the Torah. The world of Bereshis Bar Eloikim, you cannot destroy it. It was created with the Torah. Whatever the Torah creates, it's, it's, um, it's forever. But, the chukos of Shamayim Ba'aretz, how they have to go, depends on the, the... And there Moshe Rabbeinu says, trust me, don't you think, Kiloi Dabar Reik Humi Kem, he told them after, it's this, what I'm telling you, it's not a vertlech here, you know? This is, on this stand, the continuation, the existence, the perennity of this world. Okay, he doesn't want to copy. Kiloi Dabar Reik Humikem equals 680, equals 10 times Chaim. Chaim in full with the 10 spheres, meaning where there's no, nothing bad. The life coming from the Bina, fully fledged, that you want, that's the that's what we're going to fight for on Rosh Hashanah. 
We're going to be Mamli HaKadosh Baruch Hu and try to raise ourselves. I'll tell you how after that. Try to, to raise ourselves to the level of going to the Bina and take from there this Chaim El Yoyi. Because this is not an empty thing. This is everything. Ki hu That's your life. Can you believe the, 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 how it played in the puzzle? You think that you can live with eight times Chaim? You don't know the true life. Then you're going to complain. You have Royce, Robert, stars because you only have 80% of life. You want to have 100% of life when this is a life where you don't have challenges. Eloi Davarek, whom he came, what I'm telling you here, in, 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 in that the, the, the world stands on the Torah and the half based letters of the Torah. Now, okay, this time it's copy. I said equals 680, right? I said equal ten times Chaim. I'm not saying, but it equals to this. When we bring Chaim, automatically, automatically we bring Chaim to the Olam Yisraeli also to the Bria. We don't understand. It's not only for us, but everything. So Shemaim Ba'aretz. Someone who gives them, they're going to give them shit. We start seeing a little game here about my separations. We're not just going in that Shira, okay, which we don't understand what it's called Shira, but you will understand. Uh, we, we are working so the world, okay, it does have, I'll be sorry, what is Shamayim Varetz, Kutcha Berechu Shkinte. So we, you have within you, you, you become a base on Mikdash, where HaKadosh Bochu and Ishkina reside. That's, that's the true meaning behind it, Al Pipshat. But you also, and it has automatically an effect on Shamayim Varetz that, uh, you know, uh, the material one, the, 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 the physical one. And we're going to see it coming. Now you put the coil equals true. So what do you mean? Yes, when I'm when we're going to blow all the cavernous that we have during the, the blowing, it's pertaining to building the Chaim El Yoinim and bringing it down for everyone. Yom Teruah, it's the day you get Shamayim Va'ares. That's your Rosh Hashanah. That's the day of the gift. You understand why it's Yom Chagenu? Do I have, okay, is that a free gift? No, it's not a free gift. You're going to have to work. You have to do a certain avoid. And you're going to have to do the avoid of And Moshe Rabbeinu tell them, I do see Bachem Hashemayim, S Hashemayim, the S Arts. I took Edim on you. I do see, I took Edim, Bachem. Interesting that he says exactly the way it's written in Bereshis. He doesn't say, so David Amelech said, Im loy Berishi, yo imam balayla. Is that David Amelech? Did I say that? It's in your meal. Sorry. So, Shamayim Va'aretz. But Moshe Rabbeinu says it differently. Es HaShamayim Ve'es. Exactly like it's in my severations. What, what is the Kavana here of Moshe Rabbeinu? Moshe Rabbeinu says, when you come to Yom Adin, when you come to, to uh, every time you're going to do a Cheshben, 
Haidoisi. Haidoisi, same letters as Yehi Das. Always approach with Kavana. Don't approach with emotions, with feelings, with, uh, you know, I'm fearing, I'm this, I'm that. No, 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 no. You're going to waste your time. That's not the way to approach. When you come, you have to have your das uh, with you. What it means, have your das with you. Because once you have your das, you have equals 499 equals tell Shakai. Tell Hashem by your Lano. If you have your das, you're capable of elevating yourself with the Yehudim of Oilam Asiya, Oilam Ayetzira, Oilam Abiri. Where is the Bina? Oilam Abiri. That's what you have to do. Don't panic. Keep your mind. Every time, always your data, your dear, the das. We need it. Don't panic because otherwise you're going to lose your. Uh... The proof that you need das. Look at Moshe Rabbeinu what he said. Hai do yisi bachem es hashamayim ve es. All right. Menachem, which name is that? The Das. Shem of the Das. Shamayim Va'aretz were created with Aleph, Hey, Vav, Hey, which is the Shem which is in the sphere of the Das. <laughs> and when we have the Das, you can, even though we did Chataim, we, we did blemish in there, but with our Kavana, with our head, we can bring them back to the level of the racist bar sorry that they were completely uh, pure. They were uh, we started the shear with the question. What Shira is in that? It's all so sad that it should be Megillah Seikha, but not a Shira. So, uh, look, we're going to write Shira here. Just for me to be able to write it in. Uh, Moshe said it three times. I'm going to write it three times. Shin, Yud, Reish, Hey. So with you, Dean, he's going to copy it, copy it, copy it, Aleph, third time. So the three ways to write Shira in full, hey, this equals to 2,701, which is equals to exactly this. Number for number. So the Shira, on knowing, why is it a Shira? Moshe Rabbeinu is breaking you how the world is working. He gave them soidois, I'm giving you a few. I know maybe a few more, but what Moshe Rabbeinu probably to that door, he revealed it's to a level. So yes, through these hard words, because he pushed to every extreme to give them a lot of space in the middle to see all the soydas there are here. That's the Shira of the Torah. Why? Because the 22 letters have created this world and every Rosh Hashanah we are mechadesh the Biria again of Bereshis Bara Eloikim es Hashamayim ve es Haaretz. 
I'm going to take a quick shortcut here because I see the time. Um, uh, It's a pity, yeah. I don't have time to go with the um... I'll tell you a few other things, but um, I want to show you this one. How? Because that that's very important. Okay, we understood. We understood when we come to Rosh Hashanah, we were imperfect. We understood that our Maisim, Chaman al Islam, they did the Pagam, in the letters of the Torah, where the oil of Akadosh Boku is the oil and so the oil of my separation. Fine. I do every bit. I'm willing to come to Rosh Hashanah with a, as a true about sugar from the bottom of my heart and keep my mind understanding how, what to do and how to do it so we can achieve our goal. You take the letters from Aleph to Chaf equals 75. Exactly, Koyhen. I wrote it for another year, but I want to give you uh, a different look on this. Uh, This one I don't remember. Okay. So Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samech, Ein, Pe, Tzadik, all these equal to 1,420. The Gemara asks, why do we have to do Zichroinois, or Malchuyos, Zichroinois, Shoifarois? Why is there 10 Psukim in each one, in Rosh Hashanah? Why do we blow Shoifar on every time we say this 10 psukim, the Gemara says you have it's Kenege the 10 Hilulim that David Amalek said. Then we have um, the Aseres, the second one, Aseres Adibrois that was given on Har Sinai. And in the Shoifar, he can get the 10 Ma'amorais that Hashem said by Yoimer to, to create everything Ma'amorais. We blow them. What's the connection between the first letter, the Koyhan, and this? Let me explain it. The Kohen can go to Dochen as much as he wants. If I'm not myself a Kli to receive the Bracha, Vani Avarachem, yeah, okay, I took a quick shower, I'm going to dry up, the Bracha won't last. What is the Kohen doing? The Kohen takes the Bnei Sro. before he starts, he starts with Taking the Bnei Yisrael, wash them, makes them, prepare them to be a Kli for the Dochen, for the Bikas Kaihan. So it can stay by them. Yisrael equals 541. 
The first letters of all, I can't go around, uh, you know, the, I'm not going to go into the Kabbalah of the Bikas Kehanim, but uh, I just want to tell you how we become a vessel. He reveals you basically all the 10 spheroids from Keser all the way to Malchus. Because if you take the Chaf of Keser, uh, uh, Keser the Ches of, of Chachma, the base of Bina, and so forth, equals five for you, Israel. Then he's going to take the, 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 the Yichud of Yud Ke Vav Ke and Aleph Dalet Nun Yud, so the way it's written and the way it's pronounced, in full equals 760. Yud, Hey, Vav, Hey, you know. And now he's going to remove both the Nachash, the male, the, the Satan, and the worst one, the Malach Amavis. From the Bnei Israel with that shame. Now Bnei Israel, Tahir, automatically he watched you. That you understand why the Kavanis are so important in Birkas Kehani. And these are not very deep Kavanis. These are the Kavanis of the Kamana Akadosh. They're fire. Because they go right direct. No going around. Prepare the Bnei Israel to receive the broth. Now they're clear. So the only the Koyan can mix that. That's why he is from the beginning of the letters of the terror. This we cannot do ourselves. We need the Koyan to do that for us, this Tikkun. And that's what he's going to do. The end of the Tikkun, we can finish it ourselves, but we need the Koyan to stop. From Aleph till Chav is the work of the Koyan. This is Koyanish. They, they, they're too high for us. This. And only the Koyan access to these letters, and he is going to help us make a Tikkun. Us, we're going to finish the Tikkun when we're going to hear the Kavana, the, and that's where the Kavanas of the Shoifar are so important. Because you have to make sure that every Ben Israel, when he leaves, when we finish Moses, when we have finished, remember the first, the first set of Tkis is to be Mevato from Nisro, the 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 Yitzhar Hara of Avidazara. Hey, tell me it's not Avidazara these days. A bad guy that is Avidazara makes himself Avidazara. The the someone who says Lash and Hara is over on Avidazara. So to be Mevato, that is the first 30th kiss. The second kiss, which we say, which because this is when they're powerful, is against the, the female, the Risha, is when we go through Shemayin Esrei quietly and we blow Shoifra during the still high Shemayin Esrei. These for the Yetzer Hara. of Shvichus Domin. Killing. You're going to tell me, no, nah, there's no killing today. How many murderers do you find in this show? There's no killers. Oh, really? To be pagan, the Yesoid is not killing. How about this killing? And so much more. I'm just on, I'm not here to uh, here, give you the big lines. Time is flying. The... I only gave you one third of the share I wanted to give you tonight. So um, the third one, Al Khazar Sashats, is Gilu Yaroyas. This one people should have focus on what the Baltfila says and 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 listen and not have any machshava at all during the kiss. And especially do not. Daven for Parnassa. Do not daven for anything on this. Only thing we can do before the kiss is a person should introspect himself and say, I'm not perfect, I'm not this. And, you know, he, he's who quickly be true. He can't say a word. He can't even do, you know, it's also on Rosh Hashanah. So, and the last 10 we're going to say in Kaddish, is we go back for Yetzer Har of Lashon Har. 
because this one is extremely hard to kill. Even though we killed, we killed him during uh, killed him. We've been mevatol the the, the Yetzer Hara with the first kiss. No, no, has to be in the Kaddish. And um, and we see that everything Akedush Baruch Hu gave us and I'm giving you the lines on top. I can prove this. You know, everything falls in place. Everything has. So we call this Shira. And that's why by us, I'm makbid to have that the Kohen should, should already do it in Shachris. Before the Kiyas to have a Duchen is very important. Because the already the Bnei Israel became through the work of the Kohen derived to the letter of Chav. Now, from the Tkiyas, you can say, they can say, Hilulim, the Aseris Adibrois, and the Mamaris, the Mesach and everything. So you come out of the Shul. Now, the one in Musaf, it's to Adam. But it's not. The one in Shachris, it's to be, you know, the letters, you don't want to start at uh, Lamed and finish and then bring Aleph to, no. You bring Aleph to thing, and after that, you have a second clean, it won't hurt. But this is the reason. And I want to bring a proof to this. The Rama says that we don't do Duchen on, 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 on regular Shabbos because people are Chutzel Aretz. In Poland, they, they were preoccupied about their work. They lived in poverty and, and they never were besimcha. And you need to be besimcha for Duchen. So what's the reason we do it on Yom Adin? If you think Yom Adin, is a yom of fear, and I have to be. How can we duchen on Musaf? Everyone duchens on Musaf. So how we duchen? Elama, it's a yom simcha. Only through simcha we can do we can do uh, the 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 duchening. So it's a yom simcha, and what the kohen has to do is irreplaceable in order to have the yosher. When we have the letters in the right order, always rachmin. So that's why. When you come to the last kia, you know, after Musaf, already you have Rachamim on you. I just want to finish on, uh, I don't know if I'm going to find it or not. Um, where is the Shah Melech? I want to tell you what the Talmud of the Ariyah Kodesh, what Macaulay Hertz said. And you're going to understand. Yeah, the Ariyah Kodesh in Shah Rocha Kodesh says a man, a Ben Israel, is created with 22 letters. Um, the Chesil Avram, Rebbe Avram, uh, very quickly, uh, Rebbe Avram Azulai says they right under the skin. The skin, you know, covers them. If you know how to read them, you can read them. But, you know, it's a Chochmah. The Sefer Yitzira, the Sefer Avram Avinu says when a person, you see a person that is physically incomplete in any way, is missing letters. This is a semen he's missing letters. Says the Shara Melech, and I'm finishing on this. I can't go into Yosef, the Ksen is passing. I can't go to all this. I'm just going to give you this to at least you will understand. He brought it from the Galia Raza, from Arbavram, the other Talmud of Daria Kodesh. When a person wins the Din, so the letter Saf, we know it's on the forehead. It's in forehead in full. But there's two ways to write. Saf Yud Vav or Saf Aleph Vav. The one who wins the Deen has Saf Yud Vav on the forehead. That's why we say in, in, in the Slichis, Ase Imanu Ois You'll see. What is Ois? The letter in the middle between the Saf and the Vav. We want to have the one is good, which is the Yud. And not the Aleph, because Saf Aleph Vav is those who are not, they didn't deserve. 
Saf Aleph Vav equals 407. Aror is an Aror. Which Aror? Aror Makere Ehu Basaser. The one who sprach, the one who speaks behind the scene and is killing his friend. This is the Aror at the end of Rosh Hashanah. Interesting to see what these people have on the forehead. But um, the Saf Yud Vav is Kedusha, 416, Kedusha plus the Kail, or is the Oyer Hatzad. That's what a person has. Everything. So we're going to go work. Yes, we are very serious because there's a lot at stake here. We're working a few hours for a whole year. And for all the Bnei Israel. And a person, again, with the way I started this year, I'm finishing it. A person should have in mind that when he draws Chaim, not selfishness. No selfishness here. It's for all Bnei Israel. The good and the less good. For all of them, and yet he wrote something that because we coil ourselves with all the Bnei Israel, and Akadosh is going to give us the Yeshua through the Trua, because the, this Chochman Bina, whenever, as soon as we start going, Chochman Bina start giving all the Shemus. And all the Chitzonim leave the world. So Mimele the Dinim, there's no more Mekatregim in the world. They all go into the seventh level of the Gehinam. They go high. They're very scared of this oil if they get burned. So there's no more Midesadin. As soon as we start the Trua, Midesadin is gone. He wrote something that is Merachem on his people, Merachem on his, uh, on his children, holy children that are at, at, uh, at, harm's, on harm, at harm's way right now. And he gives them Yeshua easily, opens his heart, their heart. You know, uh, there's still no feeling in at Israel. People, people are still the not from they're wearing feeling. There's a shortage of Shoy Forest. They went to, to the front, they went to fight. They took Shoifer with them. If I go from this world, I went with my Shoifer. People do not understand Shoifer the 586, what it is. We'll speak on Rosh Hashanah about this. For you. Hashem after Hashem, I'll see you in Yerushalayim, Abnuya.